Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We have obtained the expression for electric flux for a curved surface placed in a non uniform electric field. In this video, we are going to get the expression for electric flux for a closed surface placed in non uniform electric field. For that, I consider this as the non uniform electric field. We know an electric field in which electric field lines are not parallel is referred as non uniform electric field. Apart from this, the direction and the magnitude of electric field varies throughout the field. Here, this arrow mark represents the direction of electric field. If it is so, you can you know, find the direction vary at this point. This clearly shows that the electric field is a non-uniform in nature. In one such non-uniform electric field, I take a closed surface. This closed surface is taken. What will be the electric flux in this closed surface? Now, before I'm going to get the expression for that, I will write the expression for electric flux. For curved surface, curved surface, for curved surface, electric flux is represented as the integral of E vector dot dA vector. Whereas for closed surface, for closed surface. The expression for electric flux is written something like this. If you look at these two expressions, you will find everything is same except this symbol. Here we have a line integral, whereas here we have a symbol for closed integral. This is the this stands for closed surface integration. Whereas here we have line integration. This is the only difference <coughs> we get here. Now, electric flux for a closed surface may be positive, negative or even zero. How it is? Let me show that to you. For that, I will take this closed surface. The closed surface that I have drawn here. So, displaced in in an uh, electric field. You see, I take uh, this uh, electric field line passing through this closed. Uh, surface. Then to get the value of phi as a positive derivative and zero, let me take one area element here and one more here. These two area elements. Then I draw a line which is perpendicular to this area element. So 
Okay, so a perpendicular line is an element actually provides the, the direction of uh, this area element that is dA vector and uh, for this uh, the same thing I do this is the perpendicular line we call this perpendicular line as a normal. This again provides the direction of area element. Okay. Now, if you look at this, this one is actually the direction of this line represents the direction of electric field and the same thing here as well this represents the direction of electric field then the angle between e vector and dA vector is nothing but taken as delta and the same thing here the angle between these two is taken as delta and if you look at this calculator you may find that the value of theta here is a less than 90 degree whereas here it is more than 90 degree where the angle between E vector and D vector is less than 90 degree the electric flux is said to be positive and where it is more than 90 degree the electric flux is said to be negative and in simple words we can say where the electric field line comes out of an area element is said to have positive electric flux and where the electric field line enters the area element that the part is said to have electric flux in negative form and uh, when uh, the electric flux will be zero but there is no electric field lines crossing a given area then the electric flux is said to be zero i hope uh, the video is useful if you have any kind of doubt related to the topic kindly put your questions in the comment section thanks for watching